Now, I wasn't going to make a video on this topic anymore because I feel like I already said what I had to say and we squashed beef or whatever the case may be. But literally something happened last night that just lit the fire in me again. And I, I'm i not holding back anymore. This is the last time I'm going to talk about the reason I left my job. So let's talk about from the beginning. I was brought into the company under management. I was a manager at a pharmacy. Still not going to mention any names, but if they don't do something about this, it's going to be a problem. So apparently one of the people that I used to work with watched my video and they didn't like what I had to say. Uh, so it's not about exposing this company. It's not about exposing anything. It's literally about I'm fed up with what happened. I have to say what I have to say. It came to a point where I felt like every time I clocked in to work, I was putting my life on the line. I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't know that feeling because what I went through, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. The company itself would let thieves just walk in, take whatever they want to take, do whatever they want to do in the store, and expect us to clean up after them. That's not how it works. I didn't want to work in a company that loved to contradict themselves. Policies are, when you see a thief, you look the other way. But when you want to follow policy, it's like you want to follow policy, but then you want to listen to what your store manager has to say. We had to follow policy, but my store manager didn't really give a fuck about policy. He would tell us, as management, you see somebody try to take something, you go up to them. So I'm going to give you guys an example of how my store manager liked to run his store. So I'm pretty much going to show you one of the main reasons I left this job. So in that video, you see me tussling with a guy trying to take his book bag away from him and a lot of merchandise falling out of his book bag. Let me tell you the backstory on it. So one day I come in my normal shift clock in, start doing what I have to do. I don't remember what day it was, but I know we had gotten our weekly truck, meaning we got our weekly merchandise truck. Me and my team, we were so focused on trying to get truck done. We had a short period of time to get it done. Within the time that we were trying to get everything done, that's when a lot of people started coming in. People were coming out of work, people were coming out of school, people were coming out of doing whatever they was doing to come to the store to get water, to get juice, to get soda, to get chips, cookies, whatever the case is, they came to the store, so store was very, very busy. We was getting called to the front for you know backup so we could start ringing up so we could knock the line out because the line was pretty long. I get on the register as a manager, I'm trying to lead my team, and I see a thief walks in. At this time, I didn't even know he was a thief. So I pay him no mind. At this time, I wasn't even really looking at anybody that was walking in, but something caught my eye with that individual. This is the first time I ever seen them. But by the way he walked in, it was just very, very weird. But I was done with the customer, so I decided to leave the registers and go back to what I was doing. Lo and behold, I see homeboy in our deodorant section packing his book bag with deodorants. Now, I bring it to my store manager's attention. I'm like, hey, we got a thief in the store. When I usually say that, I would want him next to me so when I go up to him so I could have, you know, witness next to me. So when I go up to him to ask him politely to put it back or leave the store, he decides, nah, you're going to take it from him. I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to lose my job. He's like, I'm your manager. How are you going to lose your job? What he didn't realize is that regardless, by policy, I can lose my job regardless you can't save my job because once the higher ups decide to maybe come one day because he put a customer complaint and check cameras they're not gonna see us on cameras they're just gonna see me and homeboy tussling with a book bag but since he was my store manager he's been there longer than me I decided to go up to him and ask him to put it back he didn't put it back he pretty much took it down on me like he pretty much looked at me like but you're not going to do nothing. Get out of my fucking face. So already at that, I already knew what it was. Like, where I'm from, you're not going to talk to me like that. So I asked him again, put it back. 
So he starts walking up to me. I don't know if he has a weapon. I don't know if he's going to try to do something to me. My only instinct is to react if he ever tries to do something. So he decides to walk and try to bump me. And I grabbed his book bag. I really wish at that time where I was in that store, you could hear what was going on throughout the cameras. Like I wish the cameras had audio. Because the whole time that I'm tussling with this dude to get deodorants back, mind you, why tussle with a person? Why tell me to take it from him if we can just get more? We're not losing out on money. You're just making a show while customers were in the store. And I'm dumb enough to even listen to you. In fact, when I was tussling with him, I blacked out. I just wanted to get the book back. The whole time that that was happening, my store manager, my boss, was hyping it up. Hyping it up. How unprofessional are you, bro? I was just like, never again. This is not for me. I ended up staying an extra two weeks in the job because I needed the money. And after the second week, I spoke to him. I'm like, listen, I have to put in my two weeks. I can't do this no more. I already knew what I had planned. I was gonna get another check. I still had money in the bank. I was gonna be good. So fast forward a week and a half. I wake up one day and I decide, you know what? I can't do it no more. And that's when I made the video on, I quit my job. I couldn't do it no more. Something told me like, don't go to work today. Something bad is gonna happen. And lo and behold, the day that I didn't go to work, the day that I quit, it got hit with a lot of robberies. Thank God I wasn't there. Considering the fact that I was going through a lot in that job, I still felt like I had to be professional and you know let him know what was the reason why I left. And I told him, and if I had those messages still, I would have popped it up on the video. I have a habit of deleting my messages because of storage on my phone. I didn't really need those messages. But within that text, I just pretty much showed my gratitude. I didn't leave, you know, no bad blood. I just, you know, thank you for the opportunity. Fast forward to yesterday. I wake up, I was supposed to get paid. I'm like, you know, I had everything planned. I was gonna put some money away, get things that I need, start this, you know, packing process. I wake up to $100 in my account. Backstory, I had PTO and sick time. For those that don't know what PTO is, it's paid time off. Meaning, I made so many hours that you get an extra little hour bonus. So if you accumulate that, that's when you could take your vacation. All the hours that I had for PTO, sick time, and all the hours that I did prior to me leaving, I was looking at a good check. So what they decide to do is, since I fucked them over, they were to fuck me over. And they only paid me my sick time and my PTO time which accumulated to $100. I didn't have that many PTO. I didn't have that much sick time because I used it when I went to Florida in August. So where's the rest of my money at? I called them and I asked them, I'm like, hey, you know, where's, where's my money? I never got a call back, never got a message back, nothing. That's pretty much why I left. I left for the simple reason of all the toxicness, the fake smiles, the two-faced, just everything, dealing with these thieves and dealing with people just talking down on you as if you're not human and you have no feelings whatsoever. And as if you don't have a heart, I was just done. But this isn't over. I'm done talking about the situation, of course, but behind the scenes, this is not over because I have a lot more left in store. Like I have a lot of more videos that, you know, I decided to show one because I don't want anything to get too overboard, but that's pretty much one of the main reasons why I left. Because I felt like I had to put my life on the line every single day that I clocked in. Be humble, remain hungry, stay cozy.